Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember, check out our brand new app and get access to our new pharmacology and med surge mastery courses. Plus 11 other courses like fundamentals, pediatrics, maternity, mental health, and more. Complete with over 300 follow along cheat sheets and a massive quiz bank loaded with detailed rationales to test your knowledge. Join for free. Click the link in our description below. All right, guys, let's begin. Now, acetaminophen, brand name Tylenol. Remember the A's for acetaminophen. A for absence of bleeding. The key word is that it's used instead of NSAIDs to decrease the bleed risk. Usually used for patients with a peptic ulcer or hemophilia for their mild joint pain or fever. And another plus is that Tylenol and NSAIDs can be used interchangeably to reduce a fever. So when you reach max dose on one, you can just use the other. So keyword here, it's recommended for a child with the flu. Now A is for alcohol history, basically liver toxic. So key term is we avoid ETOH and alcoholics. So think TL for Tylenol, is TL for toxic liver. Now a common HESI question for acetaminophen is trying to determine a high risk client. So the 54 year old male who key term abuses alcohol. Now the last A is for acetylcysteine, which is the antidote for acetaminophen. So the memory trick is pretty simple. Acetylcysteine blocks acetaminophen. Now, ATI asked a very interesting question. So during an overdose, which labs do you monitor for? Well, guys, since it's hard on the liver, we monitor the liver labs, both ALT and AST. Big test tip right there. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.